right. So, uh, let's try this again. Um, so I decided to, uh, this time I'm going to, uh, lower my, uh, for my, uh, bitrate. And I chose a setting on Streamlabs to dramatically decrease the bitrate. If, um... What was I gonna say? If things go haywire. So hopefully this will, uh... This will work and give you your uh, 60 FPS goodness. Hello everyone, welcome to another issue... Edition of Let's Play Fighting Games. Uh, I want 60 frames per second and I have to sacrifice some things to get it. Because I want to give you the full experience. Alright, so this is Bloody Roar. Uh, first I want to show you, right at the bat, right on to the top off the bat, you get a lot of um, features. So This is the sidestep option. By default it was off, but I turned it on because it's really cool. Uh, character select, you can choose between having it the classic arcade style or have them as the new CG characters design for the PlayStation, but I prefer arcade. I like the anime design and the CG back then. Well, let's just say that it's the typical 1990s CG. Not too great. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot to turn the volume down on my phone. Hope we don't get an echo. All right, character change continue. I played this game at the arcade when I was younger, so that's why I chose arcade because I want to get a bit of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Exit. That's not all. If you go to sound, you can also change between um, arcade and console. So I do, I'm doing arcade for the nostalgia. Yeah, I think it's awesome that um, you have all these features like changing uh, the graphics to arcade style graphics for the character selection or the arcade music. And you get this art gallery right at the beginning. Get to see all the characters. But right now, you guys are probably saying, let's just play the game already. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's play the game. I'm doing another uh, edition of Let's Play Fighting Games for this because, well, I want to give this game the treatment it deserves. And uh, I'm watching this from my phone to make sure everything goes run smoothly. I am hoping that this will be in 60 frames per second. This is the moment of truth. Bloody Roar is a fighting game, and as you can tell, it allows your characters to change into animals. It's not just uh, my opponent, it's also my character too. It's all characters, actually. There's also a um, special for uh, Bloody Roar, there's something named Rave Mode. I believe this is a console exclusive, and it was only for the first uh, Bloody Roar game. Hey, not bad, huh? I mean, of course the display quality isn't this great, but you know what? So far I'm not getting any drop frames. I uh, did a setting on Streamlamps to uh, lower the bitrate uh, in order to avoid drop frames, and I think it's working. Even if it means that the uh, everything might not be 60 frames per second, you know what? It's worth it. I was going to do a special move. Check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna do another one. Well, it's just a throw, but okay, that's odd. That's not the throw I wanted to do. So it seems uh, in my stream, it's good doing a 60 frames per second most of the time, but sometimes it'll slow down to a lower frame rate. But you know what? That's fine with me. Because I was just so tired of having um, missing frames. I'd rather have uh, the frames drop on occasion, not drop on occasion, be lower on occasion, uh, than uh, completely miss out on the things at, on the frames at all, completely.
Oh, I love that throw when you're a beast. It's awesome. Well, I'm very thankful that Streamlabs has this option. Oh, I got thrown. To, um. It's in the advanced settings where you can, uh. uh I forgot what it's called, but it was something about decreasing the beat bitrate if, um. If things start to, 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 to lag. It decreases it dy dynamically and to, it does it to avoid drop frames. And it's worth it. I mean, even though that means I'm not going to get 60 frames per second all the time, it's definitely worth it. I'd rather have a lower frame rate than uh, miss some frames entirely. So I say it's worth it. All right, let's get back to this game. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's hard to focus on the game and uh, the stream right now. Because I was doing a little bit of blindfolded playing, you know, with some typical uh, constantly push the punch button and stuff, constantly push the beats button. But that's what I liked about this game when I was younger. There's easy to combos, and I remember when I played as a uh, Yugo when I was a kid. For me, it would be punch, 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 and when I turned to beast mode, I kept pressing the beast button to use the combo. This is a cool combo. It's uh, the one I just did. It's the uppercut combo. Like, hold down forward and keep pressing punch. I love the dash attacks. Those are cool. It's like, they're like a special, special move themselves, in my opinion. Here's another cool move. You can jump uh, on a wall and attack. Quarter circle back and beast. Wow. Oh my gosh. Looks like that has vomit on the ground. I see a lot of that. Or maybe it was sweat. I don't know. Didn't look like sweat, looked more like bombs. Yeah, so uh, for this version of the game, this is the American version of the game. Unfortunately, there is no option to change the voice actors to their Japanese counterparts. And that is why we sometimes hear uh, cheesy 90s dubbing. Cheesy 90s English dubbing. I'm not saying uh, all voice actors from the 1990s for dubbing were cheesy, just some of them were. Let's face it, we've all heard bad dubs before. The ones that make you think, oh, I'd rather get this subversion. <laughs> Yugo and Alice are uh, some of my favorite characters in the game. Yugo is the balanced character, Alice focuses on speed. Also, they are both the youngest characters in the game. They're both 17 years old. So when you push Rave, it decreases your beast meter as you use it. It stops decreasing when uh, you deplete it. The other way that your beast meter can be depleted is when your character attack your opponent attacks you. And also, in general, when you use attacks, it decreases the beast meter. But it decreases it um, at a steady pace when uh, you turn on the rave mode. So there's the whole matter of risk versus reward. Rave mode, it lets your character move faster. And it lets your character uh, do combos quicker. And uh, just move around faster in general. 
Get ready. Fight! I have to say, I'm really satisfied with this stream. Uh, no drop frames, and the only uh, thing that's uh, dropping is the frame rate, but not the frames. All the frames are intact, just, or most of them, just a lower frame rate. A lot less lag, I gotta say, this is, this is uh, actually a, a huge sigh of relief, because for the past few days I tried to configure this, it took me tons of time to try to get this at the perfect setting, and I got it! Thanks to that advanced feature where I can dramatically decrease the bit rate if there's lag. Now for this stage, I remember it vividly, because uh, this was the tune I remember when I when I played at the arcades. So uh, it has a special place in my heart. <laughs> So when I think of myself, 11 years old, playing this game at the arcades, this is what I th this is the tune I think of. That's another move he does. He has that somersault style kick, but it can leave him open if you're not careful. <laughs> I accidentally set my mic off. So uh, I think my. I don't know how much of an air issue went through. But I was just saying, I was talking about raid mode and beast mode, and this is this is actually the tune I remember from when I was a kid at the arcade. Gosh, I really hope the narration got in. Otherwise, I'll just do a quick version of what I was going to say. Um, I'll talk about raid mode another time. What's cool about beast mode is that when you successfully go into beast mode, you can push your opponent away like I, like I just did. It's a great defensive maneuver. And also, you can push your opponent off the stage. Uh, once I was playing this game, I did beast mode at the very beginning with one of the walls broken. Knocked the boss character right off the stage at the very beginning. <laughs> Imbalanced, yes, but hey, I, I beat the boss character. I'm really glad I discovered that feature on um, Streamlabs OBS to um, dynamically drop the bitrate if the frames are low. I mean, if the lag uh, is high and the frames are low, so that way I won't miss frames. I'd rather much have it convert to 30 frames per second from 60 frames per second than lose frames entirely. So this is actually a huge relief because I am. Um, I took days trying to configure this correctly. And sorry if I'm, if I'm repeating this, what actually happened was I realized that my mic may have been off, so I'm just repeating a few things. Sure you can!
So, um, what the reason it is, it, dr it quickly drains your meter, but it lets your character move quicker. It lets your character move quicker until the meter runs out, then you're just back to standard. So the ways uh, your meter would get drained is, uh, one is by doing attack, performing attacks, and two is by get, being attacked by your opponent. That's what drains the meter. Actually, um, and also the rave mode, which will drain your attack, but you move faster, you do combos easier, so there's a whole sense of risk versus reward. Okay, I made a mistake. It's it's when you get attacked, not when you attack. It's when you get attacked and when you're on rave mode, that's when it drains. The worst part about that move that I, that, that I did is that if you're not near a wall, he just does a back to back. Useless. Well, it has some defense, but you could easily just, you know, do a jump back, go jumping back easily instead. You know what I mean? Alright, back off. Get ready. Fight. I really like Hugo. He's a uh, he's well balanced. He's one of the youngest characters. Also, uh, Alice. Is on one of the nearest characters, they're both 17. And sometimes I wonder, how is it that their parents let them go out and do fighting? Unless they sneak out of the house and do fighting. <laughs> wow. Into a vat of lava, I hope that didn't kill her. Fatality. This character who I'm about to fight against, his name is Greg. Uh, he turns into a, a grill. He, Greg is a cool character, but unfortunately, he only appeared in Bloody Roar 1. He never appeared in any other uh, Bloody Roar games. I'd say he's like the Zangief of the, ser of the series, because uh, he has a lot of grappling moves. Oh man. So to increase your uh, your meter to become a beast, you can do that by getting hit or by attacking. Both work. Oh hey! I didn't notice the chat. Hi dragon. <laughs> yeah, another uh, challenge I have is uh, how to uh, bounce the uh, having to bounce looking at the chat and um, what's going on the screen. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah, so uh, Dragon Blade Ice, first I want to say it was really nice to meet you in uh, KI Skate's uh, stream. I also want to mention, uh, so what happened was, I did some searching on Google, and there is a, a feature in the advanced setting for Streamlabs. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but what you do is uh, it dynamically decreases the bitrate if, uh, if there's some latency. So if there's lag, it will decrease the bit rate, so we will still have the screen, the uh, the frames. It's great because uh, then uh, it will go from 60 frames per second to a lower frame rate, like 30 frames per second, instead of it being choppy and laggy. And this is much, much better. Oh, I should have blocked that. I shouldn't have tried to attack. <laughs> that character sounds like a cow. <laughs> I don't know how to unlock Yuriko. I'll have to look it up. This the game has a lot of unlockables, but they can be hard. For example, something about um playing the game with in level six with Alice just to unlock her schoolgirl costume. That sounds a little complicated. And some modes say uh, don't have any continues. So uh, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3. It's a digital download, and that means I can't use a game shark. Alright, I can do this. Um. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm not changing my character. I also like using Long. Long is cool. I love tigers. So, I did a bit of research, and I think uh, Bloody Roar 1 is the only game to have Rave Mode. Which is unfortunate, because, uh, well, look at how well I can, I can play with this guy. I don't know what just happened. Did 
did she heal herself or something? Oh gosh. Alright. You know what's cool about beast mode? You can heal yourself in beast mode. Yeah, you can heal yourself in beast mode. That's awesome. Alright, I'm almost there. I'm gonna... Yeah! <laughs> now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ending. What's that? Yuriko the Half Beast? Uh, well, that's Yuriko's beast form. Nothing like a good cat girl. <laughs> There's a debug mode in Bloody Roar 3. I uh, played around with it for a bit, but I couldn't really figure out how to use it. Well, actually, it's just the Japanese version. I think what happened was the developers uh, forgot to take it out. Alright, so uh, this is these are the ending credits. I wasn't able to skip them. Now I realize I can. Game over. Yeah, I hope they'll bring back uh, Bloody Roar 2. It was a, a great series. Uh, it's been a while since we had a Bloody Roar game. I think the last one was for uh, the uh, PlayStation 2 era. Like the PlayStation GameCube era. PlayStation 2 GameCube era, I believe. So, um... All right, I'm gonna change things up. Big head mode and kids mode. So I'm gonna do kids mode. And I will play as Alice. They look so cute as kids. Um. All right. There was a game, uh, it was a Japan exclusive. I actually have a physical copy of it. It's called Dreamix TV World Fighters. And uh, one of the characters was Yugo from uh, Bloody Roar. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think the game has a difficulty mode, meaning the game would be uh, a bit of a challenge to play for some people. Which is a shame because it had potential and it had a lot of characters, it had Optimus Prime and. Uh, Snake from Metal Gear Solid and Yugo, and there's no difficulty selection. That's unheard of. Well, the last uh, fighting game I know to uh, not have a difficulty selection is um, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. I remember I sent an email in 2019 complaining about it, and I asked for them to include a difficulty mode, but they still haven't, which is dis disappointing. So cute, Alice. <gasps> I just realized something. So her name is Alice, and she transforms into a rabbit. I wonder if that is the uh, if that has to do with um, Alice in Wonderland.
Yes. Oh. I think uh, HG Bloody War would be amazing. This was definitely a real treasure. I wonder if I'll still be a rabbit in the room. Yep. And I changed back. <laughs> I think she's like a magical girl because you have the heart and you have the magical girl sound effects. It's probably a tribute to uh, the magical girl genre. Get ready. All right, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know what that is. She kissing him, or is she like, su I don't know, sucking blood? For I don't know what that sucking sound is like. It's like she's kissing the, her opponent. Oh yeah, that's fun. One of the things I don't like about this game is that you don't have the option to uh, listen to the Japanese voices. And uh, some of the voice acting is cheesy 90s dub. I don't know if she's uh, trying to leech off the person's blood or giving the person kisses. Probably giving kisses. Don't know why she'd do that in a fight, but okay. What I forgot to do, I forgot to change it to the CGI mode for, for this thing, and to change it to the, uh... Forgot to change it to, um, what is it called? To the, uh, console music. It's alright. Get ready. 
defend the insect. Oh, wow, that, that really ate up my raid when she was attacking me. <laughs> nice. You win. That magical girl effect gets me every time. Here. Oh no, get up. Oh gosh. Of course, they turned Fox into, well, a fox. Fox the Fox. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Kaboom. Oh wow, now they're both these. These guys are the two youngest characters in the game. 17 years old. So I'm guessing these characters would be 40 now? 40 years old about? I would love to see um, Bloody Roar cosplayers. I'm sure they exist, but I'd love to see them. 
I mean, I'd love to see pictures of them. I'm sure there's some online. <laughs> Oh, I can easily cosplay as Diego and Hugh Corp. Oh, wow. really cool which cons uh, have you seen them at I uh, I'm in the Toronto area I've never seen any uh, bloody work cosplays uh, in, the, in Canada well, I haven't seen any in my life period but I've definitely seen cosplays of other fighting game characters from other series like Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat, Blaze Blue even Yeah, I've seen many cos uh, fighting game cosplayers, but I haven't seen any from uh, Body Roar. I've seen plenty of uh, Capcom, SK. Even I've even seen Darkstalkers and Samurai Showdown. It could be! Let's I miss conventions, I really do. Um, I was going to uh, do a uh, photo shoot at Anime North last year for Super Smash Brothers, but then the convention got cancelled. And I don't even know if photo shoots will be a thing uh, if they do bring back the conventions to it, because... Aww, that's cute. I bet she says Jap Yata in the Japanese version. But yeah, I was going to do a Smash Brothers photo shoot, but the convention got cancelled. But it's okay because when I do get to do a photo shoot again, um, it'll be when there will be uh, more characters than there could have been when I did it when I was going to do it last year. Because now um, I can have people dressed up as Sephiroth.
For this ending, I never understood if it was a dream sequence or if it was just a everything returned to normal. Gonna change some things up a bit. Water structure will be off. Um, character type, big head, and um, oh, I forgot. CG sound card. Console Art Gallery. Oh, I think I have to I have to beat the game at a certain difficulty to unlock the ending so I can watch it again. Cause I did beat the game with long before the level four difficulty. But But, um, it's just I like, haven't beat level 4 difficulty with... Get ready. Fight. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to do something. I want to do big arm mode. So, I think what you do is I think, uh, if I'm correct, you hold the L1 button while selecting character. So now I want to see what it looks like with, uh, big head mode. I wonder if it'll make a difference. Mm, I don't see much of a difference. I do not know what that stomp move does. All it does is stomp. He just stomps to the ground. This is this, uh wave of air and that's it. do that I can turn into a beast while dashing that's awesome I was about to demonstrate how I like when you turn to a beast you can push your opponent away and I turn to a beast while dashing that's really cool that's awesome how you can push your opponent away um, in fact yesterday I was fighting against uh, the boss and uh, one of the walls of the stage was already uh, taken out so at the very beginning of the match, what I did was I pushed the beast button, knocked the boss right out of the arena, instant win.
Lions and Tigers. No bears, but oh my, anyway. I never knew you can do you can turn into a beast while dashing. I wonder if you can do it in the air or while retreating. And like a back dash. Okay, so that did damage. Did I need to do that like a specific distance? Okay, so I can uh, do it in the air. That's awesome. I did not know that. I have to try to see if I can do it while uh, dashing back. Oh my gosh, that what a combo. Alright, so I don't think I was able to do water freeing backwards. I guess I wasn't able to walk much longer.
That looks awesome. I mean, he launches a tornado of energy while jumping. I mean, he launches it downwards, which is awesome. And forwards, but still, that's awesome. Uh, I would have done rave mode, but my meter was already depleted. Get ready, Why can't they throw? Okay, there you go. Now we got some uh, beast throwing action. Maybe, did I need to hold forward to throw? I don't know. I just couldn't throw for some reason. I love how the last move is the one where both his where he extends both of his arms. But I don't know why he would extend one of them backwards if his opponent is in front of him. It's not like he's surrounded by guys. Get ready. Fight. I should have uh, used rave mode. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. What a comeback! Yeah, doing uh, dash attacks out of desperation. I think Long is one of those more uh, advanced characters because uh, his moves can be a bit tricky to execute, but he's still fun to play as. Oh shoot, I forgot. I'm not playing as you, I'm playing as long. Has it ever happened that you play a fighting game and in the middle of the game you forget who you're playing as? Like, who did I pick again? It's happened to me sometimes. 
Especially in Smash Brothers when there are so many characters on the screen and you lose track of who's who or who you are and stuff. Even with the, that arrow point again, which character is yours? Ugh. Sorry, I, f I fell asleep for a bit. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> get ready, fight. Oh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so that's why I'm a little tired. Oh, nice. <laughs> At the same time, it looks like they cancel each other out because uh, no one was repelled by it. By it. No one was pushed back from it. That is awesome! How do I not discover this one of doing the dash attack with the beast button? Double flip kick. I get it. Oh, I learned how to do that. That was quick.
I love his Tai Chi moves. Like how he does that back attack as a tiger. Tai Chi Tiger. No alliteration. Slash, slash. Long versus long. Must be really long. <laughs> I did that rave way too early. Wow, he's good at comboing. Well, it's a computer phone. But yeah, that was one heck of a combo. Oh gosh. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Boss time. Oh dear, this doesn't seem good. Was it worth it? I don't know. But hey, I, I got the point. Might as well save it for the next round. Or, I'll 
I'll like, use it for this round and I was gonna use it to recover my health. Maybe I should have saved it. Okay. Get ready. Fight. I thought I blocked that attack. Yeah! Nazi Long's ending, which is actually uh, a bit short. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not too long. Alright, I'll stop with the long jokes. This is a video. I'm not controlling the speed of the text, so it is what it is. Sometimes it goes too quickly. Goes my way too quickly. Thank you for playing. Oh, no high score? No, that's okay. Alright, I'm just gonna see what else there is here. Ooh, development sketches. There's long. I don't remember all their names. Alice. Oh, she's so cute! Okay, that was a little too quick, but. All right, fine. There, now we can see Fox a little longer. Next. Buckaroo. Gregory, who sadly only appeared in one game. <gasps> Is that a question mark on a sneaker? <laughs> That's a question mark on a sneaker. Too bad he only appeared in the first Bloody Roar. I'm guessing these are characters that didn't make the cut. That's cool. So there's a bull guy over there. This would be a, a cat lady. That's cool. I wonder who else didn't make the cut. That guy. Maybe that's an old design for Yugo. Or a new character. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe that's a little Umikyo. Oh. I don't know who the person on the left is. And of course, that's the logo. 